once again. My name is uh, Mr. Dekombe Emmanuel from Living Spring School, Mezaya High School. So, how was your lockdown? Hope you are enjoying the holiday. Today, we are going to be looking at our subject, Agricultural Science. The topic we are going to consider under this uh, subject is uh, diseases. Under the subtopic, we're having uh, types of uh, disease uh, organism. But before I proceed, let me quickly give you the definition of uh, disease. What is disease? Disease is the abnormal condition in plant and animal. That is, as a farmer, you should be able to be a good observant. Looking at your plants and animals, so if they are not uh, growing well, that is to say something is wrong with them. As a good farmer, you should be able to observe your plants and animals. It can due to the type of uh, nutrition that you are giving to those uh, animals or the kind of uh, nutrition that the plant uh, extract from the soil. That is why soil texture is very, very important in agriculture. I proceed. So disease occurs when there is something wrong with the normal functions of the parts or parts of the plant or animal. So when you discover that there is a problem with either the part or any part of the plant or animal, you should be able to know that something is wrong with such a plant or that uh, animal. So, disease prevents the plant or animal from performing well in time of uh, product. For example, a good farmer should be able to know that you need to plant a good seed. So, if you don't plant a good seed, the seed will not be able to germinate. And if the seed did not germinate, at the end of that year, a farmer will not be able to reap adequate uh, produce in that farm land because he did not put in place to plant the good seed. It is the seed that will develop to seedling after it germinates. As we all know that germination is the development of seed into seedling. For a seed to germinate, such a seed must be a good seed. That is the one that has not been destroyed by insect. A good farmer should be able to know that he or she needs to plant a good seed for he or she to reap bountifully at that end of agricultural year. So, Let's proceed. So this is prevent plants or animals from performing well in terms of uh, product. That is, they will not be able to yield the good uh, produce. So disease are caused by very small and uh, microscopic organisms which attack plants and animals. That is, you cannot see all these organisms through the help of naked eyes. You need to use a machine called a uh, microscope. There are some organisms that are referred to as what? Microscopic organisms, such as uh, Uglena, Amoeba, and Paramezum. All these organisms, you cannot see them fear the naked eyes. You need to see them fear the use of a microscope. Let's look at types of disease organisms. That is, different kind of disease that are caused by organism, either to the plant or animal. I will start with the first one, which I refer to as a bacteria. Bacteria, hope you can hear me. Bacteria are very small, microscopic, one cell, unicellular living organism. That is, all organisms that have one cells are referred to as what unicellular organism. Why all organisms that have more than one cell are referred to what multicellular organism? But this uh, bacteria is one cell that is a unicellular living organism. They depend 
on living and non living organisms. There are these those organisms that are still alive and those ones that are not alive for food. Most diseases caused by bacteria are deadly, contagious, and infection. That is, those diseases are very deadly. Any infected uh, animals or plant can die suddenly or it can also spread. That is what we refer to as a uh, contagious. It can spread to other animals or plants. And also, it can cause infection. That is, it can be transferred from one animal to another. It can be transferred from one animal to another. So that is that's about number one. Number two is what I refer to as a virus. Virus. So viruses are very small organisms. They are smaller than bacteria and can only be seen under an electron microscope. Viruses are not living organisms on their own. That is, that they cannot survive until they live on another organism. So they depend on another organism for their survival because that is why where they work, they get their own food from. That is that about a virus. The third one is fungi. Fungi. So. These are a group of plants, organisms that are higher than the bacteria. That is, they are higher than the bacteria and also the, the virus. They do not have chlorophyll. What is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll simply means the green plants that are present in all plants. That is, found in higher plants. Chlorophyll are the greens in nature that are present in plants. They can, okay, that is the green coloring uh, matters, pigment, as found in higher plants. They can live as a parasite, that is, they depend on another organism for survival, that is, living in living things or saprobite that is living on dead organism or organic matter so they provide their own food from the dead uh, organic matter that is they cannot survive without uh, petting on other organisms to abstract their food so that is that about the third one so let's move to the fifth one Nematodes. Nematodes. Can you say that after me at all? Nematodes. So these are small worms. Like organism, they are either parasitic, that is, parasitic modes of nutrition. They are the organism that depends on another organism for survival. Parasitic modes of nutrition. They are parasites. They cannot feed on their own, but they depend on, on another plant for survival. So, petting on a, another organism for survival. So, they are either parasitic or can be found in dead plants. Dead plant that is saprophytic modes of nutrition. They depend on their host for their survival. So, they do not cause much outstanding uh, damages in plants, they infect the root system and expose the plant to other disease causing organisms. That is, they are going to pet on the root of that uh, plant and they expose it to other diseases. Let's move to number four now. Nematodes. Can you say that after me? Nematodes. So these are small worms like organisms. They are either parasitic or can be found in their plants. So parasitic mode of uh, uh, nutrition are found among uh, living organisms that depends on the dead for their survival. They call these saprophytic modes of nutrition in basic uh, science. Saprophytic modes of nutrition. So they do not cause much outstanding uh, damages in plants. 
They infect the root system and expose the plant to other disease causing all means. That is what they're going to do is that they pet on the root of that uh, plant, they make sure that they expose it to other disease causing all missing so that the, the life of such plant can be damaged. So that is what nematodes are all about. Let's move to the last point for today. That is what I call the protozoa. Protozoa. These are the group of uh, organisms. Can you say that after me? At home, protozoa. So these are single cell, small living organisms. A good example of uh, protozoa is Amoeba. Amoeba proteus. We have uh, Uglena fridis and Paramecium caudatum. All these organisms I mentioned, they are unicellular organism and they can be seen through the help of a microscope. It is not the organism that we can see through the help of a naked eye, but we can see them through the help of a microscope. So they cause disease when they invert crop plants and animals, they are mostly microscopic in nature. I think I will explain this. We cannot see them through the help of our naked eyes, but through the help of microscope, we can see them very well. They are what we refer to as a protozoa. They are single cell, small living organism. So, hope you have uh, gotten something for today concerning agricultural science about the topic we consider, which is a uh, diseases and also we look at the type of disease in uh, all reason so that is in your own uh, word explain diseases explain uh, disease number two start and explain explain Four, four types, types of uh, disease, disease uh, in an uh, organism, disease uh, organism, disease uh, organism, disease organism. Please uh, do this right away from home and uh, submit to this uh, platform. Let me give it one more. So, what is a uh, living uh, organism? What is living uh, organism? So, answer these three questions and submit to this uh, platform to meet next time. Bye for now.